What's up guys? Junk Guys DFW and I'm in a vehicle today. Uh, I'm actually not driving but I thought of a nice informational video and I got some her, uh, help from Junk Ship Ashton, the owner of uh, junkship.crm.com.net. So many dots, I don't even know what it is anymore. All right guys, so what are the do's and don'ts of buying a trailer or even a dump trailer? So uh, I wanna knock this out with just dump trailers really, really fast because I see this all the time. I mean, 90% of the time, this is what I see. And I have a lot of friends that are in the junk removal business that actually own dump trailers. I own a dump trailer also. But to own a dump trailer, a 12 foot or a 14 or a 16 foot dump trailer, a trailer that has a gooseneck that connects to the back of your, uh, the camper, well not the camper, the back bed of your truck, it has a fifth wheel and that dumps. So we're talking about a heavy dumpster that weighs about four to 6,000 pounds. I will tell you something, the don'ts of buying one of these is don't own a small truck, own a big truck. For instance, if you have an F-250 gas truck, that's a big no-no. no. Get something with an F-350 and higher. For instance, guys, I would not recommend an F-150, an F-250, a Chevrolet 2500, a gas vehicle. Any gas vehicle, I wouldn't recommend, and I'm gonna tell you why. Imagine pulling 6,000 pounds at all times that's that's not loaded that's empty weight six thousand pounds at all times with a gas vehicle imagine the expense you're gonna spend on just fuel all right so I want to get that out of the way another thing is you want to go higher not lower than F 350 you want to go 350 and higher not 350 and lower like an F 250 I recommend and I always tell people this buy if you're gonna get a dumpster trailer buy an f-250 or higher okay do not i mean do not purchase an f-250 go f-350 or higher with the diesel trailer so i'm going to say that one more time if you're buying a dumpster trailer get a diesel truck but go f-350 or higher for instance f-350 f-450 or f-550 chevrolet 3500 4500 or 5500 so I would never recommend to tell people to buy a gas vehicle when you're pulling a dumpster trailer just because of the expense of gas. All right guys, so that's enough of dumpster trailer. Let's talk about a enclosed trailer or a flatbed trailer. So we're gonna get into enclosed trailers really fast. When you're buying an enclosed trailer, you can easily buy an F-250 or F-150 to pull an enclosed trailer. Most of these trailers weigh about 1,500 to 1,800 pounds, somewhere in between, depending if they're made of steel or of aluminum. And I always recommend aluminum trailers, especially with the price of gas these days. Those trailers are easily pulled with an F-150 and an F-250. So I always say those are okay. Now, what size of trailer would I recommend? I always recommend a 16 foot trailer on any of these projects when you're buying an enclosed trailer. And I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, because you're going to scale up. At 16 foot, you can actually get the price you want from a customer. Trust me, customers are not dumb. They will call and they will also call your competitors. They will get estimates that will get bids from not only from you, but from other people. And when someone says this, well, I have a 16 foot trailer and to fill it up, it's $400. And then they call about your trailer that's 12 foot long. Hey, I have a 12 foot trailer and I charge $500. They're not dumb. They know that a 16 foot trailer gets more feet in it and more room in it. And why would they pay $100 more and get less room in it? So kind of think about that when you're buying a trailer. You wanna get a 16 foot trailer. That is an enclosed trailer. That is the kind of trailer that you wanna go with. I always recommend everybody to go. Now, I can't, I can't really set prices depending on uh, on the region that you're in. For instance, the city or the state you're in. For instance, here in Texas, I charge 16 foot, $400 for a full trailer. But in California, that trailer might be $600 for the same size, and in New York, it might be $700. So you have to, depending on how the price in the housing, the economic standpoint, where your city or your state is, that's your pricing, okay? So I'm not gonna tell you how to price it, but if you're going to buy an enclosed trailer, go with the norm, okay? Go and do with the norm. And another thing is, don't overprice yourself because in the end you are not 1-800 and you are not junk king do not price yourself like you are them the reason their prices are so high is because they're advertising they're marketing the payments on their 
their insurance, the payments on their franchise fees, their payments on their truck. You have to take all those things in consideration when you're pricing your vehicle. You are not 1-800. They have to price themselves that way because the expenses that they have. They're trying to make it up with the junk removals. All right, guys, but let's now talk about a flatbed trailer, the don'ts of a flatbed trailer. If you're gonna get a flatbed trailer, of course, you gotta put walls on it. I always recommend a 16-foot flatbed trailer with four-foot walls. Now, how do you price it? Well, of course, you can't price a four-foot wall, 16-foot, I mean, flatbed trailer, the same price as an enclosed trailer, because, of course, an enclosed trailer will always hold more. But I do recommend landscape trailers or trailers with four-foot walls. Why? I'm going to tell you why. They weigh nothing. They're about a 1,000 pounds, and you will get really good wind resistance with those vehicles. I mean, there's... You're just going down the highway and it seems like you're pulling nothing with a flatbed trailer compared to an enclosed trailer. So you're going to get better gas mileage with an enclosed trailer, uh, with, with, with a flatbed trailer than you are an enclosed trailer. Let me correct myself. You will get better gas mileage with a landscape and a flatbed trailer than you will with an enclosed trailer and especially a dumpster trailer. So we're not even going to talk about dumpsters. We're just comparing enclosed to flatbed or landscape trailers i always i love landscape trailers i i've owned one in the past before uh, i don't own one now but i always recommend that if you're going to start a junk removal business with an f-150 or an f1 f-250 which is also a chevrolet 1500 or a chevrolet 2500 gas get yourself a, 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 a landscape trailer they're really good they they're they their weight is very 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 low and the wind resistance i mean you're, you're taking a lot of things in consideration so some maintenance uh getting from job to job is a lot faster uh the customer service that you can get there uh just just by getting there because being late to a job because you're driving slow uh can affect your whole customer service in the way you get to a job late uh, overall the experience is going to be really shitty okay but when you have a trailer that's fast and it moves fast and it can get to job to job that's when your customer service also goes higher so take a lot of it's a lot of things that are consider consideration better customer service uh, a lot faster a lot reliable not a lot of working on it uh, for instance it's not going to be maintenance on it a lot and of course the most important thing is gas mileage everybody knows that diesel is very expensive especially in california and new york uh, Fuel is very expensive in Texas, but not as bad as it is in other states. So we take those in consideration. Now, I did this video uh, today, which is Monday. I'm going to probably post this video today. So as I'm talking, the prices of gas and fuel are ridiculous. Okay, guys. Now, I'm going to end this video with telling you always be careful when you're buying a trailer. This video was actually recommended me for, for me to do from other people, other subscribers. And another thing that we were talking about, me and Junk, Ice, uh, Junk Ashton here uh, from Junk Ship, he was telling me, hey, I've never seen a video like this, so post the video, and this is why I'm doing it right now. The do's and don'ts of owning a trailer or buying a trailer. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed these videos. And don't forget, guys, if you like these videos, tell your friends, tell your sisters, mothers, best friends, cousins, roommate from Nevada, Las Vegas, tell them. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye, guys. GoPro, stop recording.